Spinning, 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 max 300. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Starting the second basement floor. I can't see you there. <laughs> we are going to first get ourselves, look this path open here because we have something to do timing wise, kind of timing wise. Uh, it's not that difficult to do timing wise, that's why I say kind of timing wise. Uh, but basically, you gotta hit this switch and that switch at the same time, and we gotta do it with a bomb chew on the other side. Uh, this the gossip stone here hints at it with its Wario like mustache. Flip two switches at the same time if you wanna cross up ahead, and a bomb chew could do all the work for you while you stand around. So, yeah, the idea of this is to do yourself a path through here. Oh, wait, that's, that's too close to the corner. I need, I thought it's just, just gonna explode when I hit the corner. Hey, I gotta doodle this through both of these. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. And there. Now, what you gotta do is tap the screen to get back to Link. And now watch on the bottom screen. Well, at the same time, hit that switch. Yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, you basically gotta time yourself through that. But those switches stay active for quite a while, so it's not that tight of a timing. Hence, the kind of again. <laughs> oh, Mini Blim, how's it going? Oh, Mini Blim, how's it going? Oh, Mini Blim, how's it going? I did, I killed them off before they, before they could even answer. That was rude of me. I am so sorry. Oh, Flying Pot! Oh, Flying Pot! Oh, Flying Pot! <laughs> That's how I like to guard against them, is just to... Yeah, just to knock them around with my spin attacks, because they come from all the angles. Yeah, killing off the Mini Blims. Well... All the critters in general will open up. Ye old chests. Ye old chest contains ye old red rupee. Now, uh, you want to kind of set this up ahead of time. Yeah, I got these blocks going on here, and then I got another timing thing, kind of. Oops, got another timing thing, kind of. Oh, wait, maybe it won't blow off if I touch the wall because it kind of. Well, it will if I go through those. I mean, if I have it touch that wall, but if I have it touch the other walls, so okay, that was good timing. If I have it touch the other walls, it'll explode. But the thing is that I don't, you know, I, I want to kind of conserve my bomb chews and whatnot. So yeah, that's why I'm being extra cautious with the doodles that I doodle. <laughs> uh, there are no treasure chests. Yes, I got them all. Heck yeah! You are an Armos, aren't you? You're an Armos, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to do here is push them all on the switches. There's four of them in this area here. Aha! Oh! Ah, oh, I took a hit from my own bomb. I, my own explosions are more dangerous than the actual Ar ah, Armos themselves. Except in that case, I guess. Oh, shoot! What is wrong with me? Oh, oh thanks for jumping on the switch there. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to awaken. I said awaken. I said, eh, well. Eh! Okay. <laughs> it's probably safer with bomb shoes, but whatever, whatever. We are safe enough. Yeah, putting all of them on all the switches will open up the path ahead. And beware of the pots! Oh, oh I mistimed it. <laughs> oh no, you're not. You're not going to pot me again. Never again. Never again. Never trust a pot again. Anyway, there's the boss key type pedestal. And boing. Sorry. Sorry. Two treasure chests. No, I refuse. No. I've gotten all the treasure chests up to this point. Oh, my little self, or whatever you want to say. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the thing that we had to do earlier to get the bomb shoe there while hitting both switches at the same time. Uh, which reminds me, can I show you how long those switches stay active? No, I cannot. Well, you can see for yourself. <laughs> but yeah, that, that timing base puzzle, not very, very timing base, as I said. Oh, crap, it's a trap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Hinox. Oh no, Hinox! I'm trying to group them all together here. Oh! Well, that didn't work out. Well, I just want to... Yeah, I kind of group them together so I can... Yeah, oh, that's what I wanted to do. Not really that... Eh. Eh. Wait, what am I doing? I didn't stun the other one. I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. Take that! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm still getting the... Oh, yeah, the stun sound effect, but whatever. Probably just another emulation glitch. 
probably, maybe, might be. Anyway, yeah, that's what the arrows are for. You cannot damage them without the arrows. And now, um, I think I have to hit that with a bomb chew from the other side, so I gotta clear my clear the path here. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Don't. Mm, you guys are a combination of death. <laughs> Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Nope. Ah! Didn't mean to touch you. You're so far away that I'm not even sure how I touched you. Okay. So now that I'm over here, bomb chew time. And let's get doodling. This is pretty easy to doodle. It's a wide area. Go! And I'll just let that to do its thing. Because I have plenty of time for this timing based switch. See, it goes beep, 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 and then we get through it, and then it's, yeah, it's done. <laughs> hey, Wario, how's it going? Morning, when it seems like you cannot pass, look across the quicksand for answers. So, quicksand, right there. Got a bunch of ice slugs hanging out here. Uh, I'd like to kill off the majority of these with arrows if I can help it, because it's just easier than with the bomb chews. Uh, even though I will have to kill off all these critters, I think in order to get something, but yeah, now I can't reach him with arrows, so now I'm going to have to go over to Bomb Chews. Let's draw our path true and try and kill off the critters as best we can. If not, let's at least try and hit the switch with our Bomb Chew. Go, critter, go! Okay, there we go. <laughs> so that's one down, and I think... Did I just go through a rock? I think I went through a rock, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I did. Dang it, rocks are useless to me. I mean, I can blast them, but anyway... Ice log, you're going down! You're going down! Did I get it? Actually, I'm not sure if I got it. Uh, I did not. So, okay, he's kind of pushing his head into the wall there, because I guess that's what they like doing. It must be an instinctive trait of the wild ice log, so... Alright, and now uh, I guess you don't get anything if you get all the ice logs. Oops, I hope that's gonna work. Uh, oh, yeah, you do get something if you kill off all the ice logs. I just went into bomb chew mode a little too quick for my own good there. Alright, that gives me that chest. So there's my two chests. Voila, go on Amber. Now, to get back, we gotta do something similar. We've got unlimited bomb chews here. So, uh, we gotta get near here, and then we gotta draw it across the quicksand. As long as it passes through the switch, you will be happy. <laughs> and now, we can get this, and guess what it contains? It's the Bosky! Yeah, you guessed correctly, probably! I don't know if you really guessed that, but you probably guessed that. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got this, uh, we are pretty much home free. Because everything is collected on all the floors as far as I know. So, going back down the stairs, remember where the boss door pillar thing was, whatever you want to call this. Yep, plop her in! And... We're in. <laughs> now, you're going to see four pillars over there. This is kind of funny here. Uh, they give you the hint as to what you're supposed to do with these four pillars after getting by the four pillars. So here, I'll show you. So you got the hint after them. Watch this, watch this. Boing! These pillars hide no secret path, so waste not a single bomb. Just use the stairs. So yeah, um, you, you have the potential of actually burning bombs here, trying these walls here. Because the hint comes after it. That's kind of mean. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, basement floor four. Yeah, I made that rhyme on purpose. I'm gonna recover all my stuff using these unlimited recovery flowers, I guess you could say. I am not going to because I have a boss to defeat. And this boss will test both of our skills. What do I mean by both of our skills? Well, well, you'll see. <laughs> Let's do this. Behold, Don Gorongo! Everything's named some sort of Goron here. <laughs> Look at that massive beast link! But it's way over there on the other side of the sand pit! Uh, how about... My brother, let us bring down that monster together, Goro Link! I can help you trip it up from over here, then you attack from over there! Alright, so here we go! Let's do this! Attack its side to flip it over! Eh. Sometimes you have to stun it from the front. 
Oh shoot, I got the dialogue clicked through too click quickly. I am so sorry, but that's okay. We're gonna win this boss battle, whether Don Garango likes it or not. <laughs> so we gotta do three of those. And we also gotta protect Link from the eye slugs. Oh, you're gonna spew fire. You are under attack, Gor Link! Yeah, um, you gotta switch between the two, because remember, you share health. So, just keep Link under control here, and also, yeah, try and recover some health along the way too. No, you don't! No, you don't! Uh, no, you don't! But I will! Ha 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 ha! Take that! Alright, now let's head is that way. I gotta doodle myself. Well, I should doodle my bomb chew around the back end thusly, and there's always a way to get a bomb chew in its mouth. Uh, wait, I should actually stay on Link, because, yeah, I'm being attacked by the eye slug. Alright. Um, back to Gangaron, and oh, that, was, that would have been a good opportunity to attack. Dang it, I just totally messed it up. Ah! Don't you dare charge at me. Ah! You are gonna go down! Eh, I don't care about Link at this moment of time. Not switching, I wanna get him down first. <laughs> and then I'll just do this, and then I'll just do this. And, oh shoot, I drew that, drew that a little bit too far. Go! <laughs> Hopefully it'll stay stunned long enough. And victory is mine! Yeah! Woohoo! That boss went down like a sack of potatoes. Woof! <sighs> he defeated the monster girl, Link. If your medal is in there, I'll run ahead to go get it. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. So let's cross the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not over. It's not over. No, it's back. We don't have our buddy, but that's okay because we're facing him head on this time and he shows a weak point. It's on his back. We can't get to his back that easily. Oh no, because this game plays out 2 d -ish. and oh shoot, I wanted to get my bombs out to shoot, to throw it in his mouth while he was sucking in, but I was a little bit too late there. That is alright. So yeah, this part of the battle, abuse your bombs to get through, and he's gonna shoot, oh shoot! <laughs> he's gonna shoot three times, fire, and then he's gonna start sucking in air. He always does it three times for some reason, so he's very predictable. Uh, probably they do that so that you can, you know, grab a bomb flower or something like that in, in the proper timing. And then just attack them as many times as you possibly can. As best you can. And repeat the cycle until the stinker is a goner. So there's number two. Oh, I, I nicked it. I, I mean, I got nicked by it. Okay, here's number three. And he sucks in your bomb. I could also use a bomb flower, of course, to save my bombs, but... Eh, this works perfectly fine. <laughs> Take that, and that, and that, and that, and that's some more! <laughs> and after three cycles of this, your victory will be assured! Just as long as you keep touching like a madman. Those eye slugs are probably the most danger in this fight, in all honesty. It always seems like that, doesn't it? Like, the, the underlings are more dangerous than the actual boss, whenever there's underlings in a boss fight, doesn't it? Because it seems like they get in the way more than anything. It's, 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 I think it's the RNG factor of things. Anyway, victory! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's got a weird sound effect, but okay! That was the victory sound effect glitch. <laughs> Because it did sound like Link was celebrating or something like that, even though that was a sword swinging sound effect. But I will accept it as it is what I believe it to be a victory sound effect glitch. And what is the victory? Well, more sand, of course. <laughs> Two minutes added to the Phantom Hourglass. Heck yeah! Woohoo! Oh yeah. And also, also, you guessed it. Probably, maybe, well, maybe you guessed it. There's something in there. What could it be? Could it be a heart container? Could it be rupees? Nah, it's a heart container. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, so we are good to go here. No, oh, auto glitch. I've been waiting for you, Gorolink. Hmm? 
I heard all that terrible thrashing. Did something happen in there, brother? Oh, the nasty beast must have only passed out when he left us, but he couldn't stand up to Link. Oh no, I only left because I thought we had defeated it. Oh, but we couldn't have done it without you, Gongron. That's true, we needed that bridge to get to the other side. After our battles together, I have a brand new impression of you now. Oh, it was nothing really. And so, I present to you the Goron Pure Metal, brother. <clears throat> there it is. Behold the Pure Metal, brother. Thanks, Gongron. Look, then let's go grab a link. Alright, let's take a look-see around the room. I don't think there's really anything. Any uh, much to see here, just detailing here and there, just hanging out. And yep, just what I thought. We got it! We got it! Crimson In! Woohoo! You did it! You got some pure metal! I guess that linebacker's nose of treasure actually works sometimes. Or he just takes a guess like a blind squirrel finding a nut. <laughs> That is crimsonine that we grow on treasure with such pride. So you have accomplished your goal, right, brother? Time to head home then. <clears throat> hey, Gonkron, try not to get yourself good and lost again, okay? No problem. Oh, and after you leave this place, stop on my home. My father and I will be waiting for you. See you later, brother. And he's gone. But, so wait, 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 you, there's gonna be a blue light that's gonna appear. Come back! Oh, he's gone. Good kid, but he's such a cushy guy. Well, let's head back to the chief's home. And there's the blue light. He didn't hear me. Alas. The blue light would have been so, so much handier for him. But I guess I'm gonna end up beating him back to his home. <laughs> and we're out. <clears throat> we're good. Well, kinda. We still got that little thing to do there. But we gotta get our bomb shoes out for that and we'll see how to do that on the other side. And then what I'll do is... I uh, talked to the Gorons back on my way to the ship, you know, I'll talk to them in order and stuff like that just so I don't miss any, because they got some new dialogue and whatnot, so let's just have some fun with it before we get back to Lineback, because why not? <clears throat> uh, oh, 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 need these stairs. So, now that you know that those holes are used for bomb chews, we now know how to solve this little puzzle here. Now, the easiest way to do it is probably to plop a bomb, like start it around here, like doodle our way around... Oh, that went through the... that went through the wall. I can't have that. Oh no, I gotta go straight up through, there we go. And then straight down into here. And then while that is going through here, I'm going to go up to where I drew that arrow and head over to where it's going to appear. Watch, watch, watch. Whoa! There it is! And since it's a timing based thing, I mean a time based thing, you only have so much time to get this treasure map after you hit that switch, and that's why I did it from where I was, because it's just so much easier to get it that way than it is to hit the switch and then run all the way around there. <clears throat> ah, I'm so mucusy. <laughs> For some reason. Probably been recording too much at once. Anyway. Hey, why do you have the pure metal in hand, Goro Link? You should get permission from the Elder. Or else you will land in big trouble. Oh dear. Uh, maybe I should go over to the Elder, huh? But first, let's take a look to see down here. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What are you doing with that pure metal? Or is it a secret? No, it's not really a secret. We've been kind of discussing it. We need the pure metal to get a sword. Ah, forget it. It's too long of a story. <laughs> Mm, no, brother. What are you doing with our pure metal girl, Link? It is a Goron treasure. You cannot just walk away with something so precious. Why are you guys not trying to take it back from me if it's so precious? Uh, obviously, I'm talking to the Elder last, uh, for reasons. Uh, where are you taking that pure metal, brother? Because, yeah, they, don't, they can't... I mean, they're all like, oh man, he's got the pure metal, this is not good, he shouldn't be having this pure metal. They all got these little bits of different dialogue and whatnot. Do you recognize me, Goro Link? I am the little Goron that is now a big Goron, but you remain so small. So yeah, this is the one that grew up already by eating the wood hearts, I guess. You must eat more wood hearts! <laughs> yeah, he grew up that fast. That's incredible! <laughs> His dream came true and... Mere hour or so. <laughs> what are you doing with our tribe pure metal, Goro Link? Actually, it was less than an hour since the last time I talked to him in uh, in game time. <clears throat> How does it feel we are be out sailing the seas, Goro Link? Is big. I wish I could ride the waves, brother. Oh, you aren't concerned about me having the pure metal at all, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, there's a lot of varied dialogue in this island for some reason. Why waste time carrying on that pure metal Goro Link? You really should be pounding some sense into my father. <laughs> he does not like him watching the ship all day. Unless... Um... Maybe... Oh, I think I just got a reference here. I think he is a representation of that old Wayfarer. And that kid in there is a representation of the old Wayfarer's son. Probably. I'm not positive of that, though. <laughs> Not positive, but anyway, it just it just might be. It's just a theory that I came up with. Now, what are you doing with the Island Sphere Metal Goro Link? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> oh, well, okay, I know. So, uh, hey, so wherever did you find that pure metal, brother? I didn't think that the store had such a rarity in stock. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, there's a the chest up there. I don't think I can get that chest right now, though. Uh, what are you doing with our tribes for metal? Oh, girl, Link, why play with that when you should be carving out a home for yourself? <laughs> so, yeah, I need another item for that chest up on the, the cliff there. So that's that's something that I'm going to have to do a little bit later on. If you're bored, why not play with me for a while, Goro Link? Oh, you have the tribes for metal. You cannot simply walk off with that. Yeah, so no one is approving that I have the Goron medal except the one that's paying more attention to the ship than anything else that's going on on the island. So yeah, this is definitely a very precious item to them, and thus we need permission from the Elder, basically, to make them all happy. So let's go over to the Elder like we were supposed to go er to earlier. I just wanted to see the dialogue at that moment in time, because there's going to be another set of dialogue after this set of dialogue. <laughs> I know it's a lot of dialogue, but gotta see because it's a one-time thing. I've been waiting for you, brother. I was just telling my father how he joined forces to defeat those creatures. You should tell him everything that happened to Goro Link. Sup, Big Goron? Oh, Gongroan told me all about your efforts. To thank you, you could take the Crimson E with you. It is our pure metal. Boil, bake, or forge it. Whatever you like, for it is yours, brother. I'll probably forge it. <laughs> All right, Coral Link. It has become clear to me that you stand tall and proud among us. <clears throat> this is difficult for me to say, but I believe the time has come for you to leave. As a parting gift, I'll return the Goron fee you contributed to us, brother. Yay! And interest! <laughs> so he didn't actually lose rupees on that game whatsoever. I added a bonus for you, a little something from the Goron people. I hope that your pride only grows with time, brother. Woo! You possess great pride in all that you do, brother. I hope this will continue to grow for you, nurtured Goro Link. <laughs> so you're leaving this island. Is that the truth, Goro Link? Well then, I'm going to be just as tough as you, and I refuse to say goodbye. And you'll notice, uh, with all this changed dialogue, that word really spreads fast on this island. Like, watch this. I'm gonna go over to here, he's gonna be like, Oh, I guess you are leaving us, Goro Link. I will take care of everyone here while you are gone, brother. So like I said, yeah, the word spreads fast and dialogue changes. <laughs> so we gotta go through the Gorons again! Don't worry, there's only 11 left. So you're leaving this island, brother. A letter one of the Goron secrets. There's something special in the Goron Ember. It has that stuff in it. I wonder why, brother. We love that stuff. Other, utter that to no other, brother. What is this other stuff? I'm not actually sure, really. <laughs> Maybe he's referring to the magic that can be held in the special metal. I don't know. So you're going away, Goro Link. I hate it when Gorons go away. So go away already, brother. No, I take it all back. You return to us anytime. Alright, brother? I will. Because I gotta get that chest up on the cliff. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I should probably mark that on the map so I don't forget uh, a little bit later on. It was somewhere around there, wasn't it? I think. Maybe. Might be. Could be. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, where are you going, brother? Departing our island? It'll be so quiet here without you. I, was, I wasn't here all that long, but I guess they got attached to me all the same. <laughs> Hiya! I heard that you were leaving, girl, Link. Well, I plan on eating many old wood hair to your way. I have a girl so big. Probably as big as Big Goron at this rate. Maybe even bigger. I mean, you grew faster than any other kid I've seen on the island. In fact, the only one that's grown so fast in such a short amount of time. <laughs> Oh, you're leaving us. We'll be only here without you, Goro Link. If another monster ever shows up again, I will issue a here, brother. Don't worry, I'll be here if need be. Got got info about the ship? I hear that you plan to set sail and soon depart about depart from us, Goro Link. Someday I will also step off our shores. I hope to meet you again, brother. So yeah, the ship is gone. Well, it's gonna be gone soon. 
and that will make the sun incredibly happy. So you are, so I hear that you're sailing soon, Girl Link. Well, every now and then, my father can bear your ship, brother. Well, I guess he's not that happy about it. I thought he would have been happier about that, in all honesty. I mean, he, he has been he really hating that I've been, you know, docked here because his dad's watching the ship, and he doesn't like his dad watching the ship, and yeah, it's just an issue. You've seen the story. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? <clears throat> I'm sad to hear that you were leaving our Golden Link. link. Uh, you just you just got to know our island. Never forget us, brother. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back someday. Somehow. Some way. Probably by ship. <laughs> okay, I have to come here by ship. Well, and maybe a tornado. Leaving this island, girl, Link. It will be lonely without you. Maybe I'll spend more time at the store. <laughs> He's just obsessed with that store, I swear. Uh, I should probably check that sword to see if there's anything new there just for kicks. Uh, oh ho, so you're leaving, Goro Link. Carve a home for yourself when you reach another island, brother. Alright, I will. Hmm, in fact, Link doesn't really have a home in this game, does he? He just, just starts out being washed ashore and he starts wandering the land. He's, he's a wanderer. Well, hello there, bomb bag upgrade. Can I afford this? Oh, of course I can, because I had a ton of treasure. <laughs> Whoa, it's about you bag! Yeah, heck yeah! And I think that is all that I can get here right now, but I'm gonna just check here really quick. I'm gonna leave and come back. See if there's anything of importance. Ho! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> That's nice! I appreciate that quite a bit. I mean, it's costly, but... Yeah! <laughs> awesome! Fantastic! Can I get anything more from this very generous island? Nah, it's just some gore and amber. Oh, I was not expecting to see that, but <laughs> I knew you could get it from a shop, I just wasn't expecting to see it. That really, really pleases me. Alright, now that I got it on such a good note, I'm gonna chat with you and then end off the park. So you're leaving us, Goro Link. You'll only leave it right there. Everyone's saying it's going to be lonely. Well, whatever. With that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I sail the seas once again. Holy jeez, that was a lot of dialogue. That was like 10 minutes of just pure dialogue. Plus a couple of prizes. <laughs> anyway, next parts and all that stuff.